Module 4, All Day Schooling. Welcome to the All Day Schooling module. Would you like to know more about this approach and how it is implemented? You are in the right spot. In this module, we will define All Day Schooling and how it works in practice, we will approach its advantages and the barriers to its implementation, enumerate conditions for its application and its connection to the curriculum. All day schooling is the extended time students spend at school. All day schooling is being adopted by several countries with the aim of improving students' educational results. This approach has been implemented in elementary schools, but it is not common in secondary schools. All day schooling does not look the same everywhere. Extending the school day varies considerably from country to country, within the same country, and even between schools. For example, the all-day schooling approach may vary in terms of the time added to the schedule, whether it is targeted at all schools or specific schools, whether it is directed at all students or a certain group of students, whether the time is used for academic or non-academic subjects, whether it is intended at teaching new subjects or if it helps deepen what is taught in other classes. Other variations include the addition of more days to the school calendar or summer programs. With respect to students' obligation to participate, there are three types of all-day schooling, open all-day schools, where participation is voluntary, compulsory all-day schools, where students are obliged to stay at school for an extended time and mixed all-day schools, where only certain groups of students adhere to the all-day school program. There are also differences concerning the provider of all-day programs. For instance, in Portuguese schools, activities are organized either by parents' associations in articulation with schools, or they are provided by municipalities. It can also be paid for or free of charge, as for some schools in Austria. All-day schooling also implies that the school has a set of conditions, such as financial and human resources, but also infrastructure conditions, such as spare classrooms and adequate equipment. As all-day schooling takes various forms, its impacts also need to be considered within the school context. We will now look at the main advantages and barriers to implementing all-day schooling. Let us begin with the all-day schooling potentialities. On the one hand, it is believed that more time spent at school means that students can attend enrichment programs, which potentially expands their experiences, consequently improving school results. With additional time, there are more opportunities to provide more individualized instruction or to cover the curriculum in a more broad or deeper way. It can also be used for students to explore their interests through specific courses or activities. On the other hand, all-day schooling promotes equal opportunities for all students, allowing socially disadvantaged families to access resources that otherwise would be unattainable. In the case of at-risk students, longer school days may mean less time exposed to adverse environments. In fact, Several studies have shown that extending school time has a significant impact on students' school success, especially in students from economically disadvantaged contexts. In addition, there are studies that prove that this approach can reduce the probability of juvenile delinquency. There are also a couple of studies that analyze social and economic outcomes associated with the all-day schooling, but learning outcomes are the most addressed. However, it is important to bear in mind that the relationship between more time at school and students' academic results is complex and can be affected by other factors, for example, intrinsic factors from the students, or contextual factors from within the school. Also, there is the question of how much more time of instruction is needed and from where its effects fade or are even counterproductive. Despite the advantages of all-day schooling, there are some voices echoing barriers and challenges posed by this approach. One of the barriers of implementing an all-day schooling approach is related to the resources spent, such as costs related to the infrastructures or paying staff. In addition, some students may struggle to main their focus throughout a longer extension of the school day. Another disadvantage is reducing students' leisure time or the time they spend with their family. Balancing between advantages and disadvantages is also complicated by the fact that studies in this field use a diversity of study designs, samples, and methodologies, impeding the drawing of final conclusions. So, let us bear in mind that each school is unique and what works in one school may not be appropriate for another school. There is also a controversy concerning using this approach with older students, with experts advising its implementation only until the sixth grade, 
as older students don't need the same support within the school system. In addition, authors underline that using this approach with older students may encounter resistance from the students and parents likewise. International research findings name conditions for schools to adopt an all-day schooling approach. One of those conditions is that this process is implemented gradually, preventing that school actors from seeing this approach as a new system forced upon them. Another condition is giving school staff professional guidance to adapt to the system. Finally, financial support is a mandatory condition, as this approach implies additional resources. Changes to the school's schedule comprehend a considerable reform that needs to take into consideration the context of each school, evidence from research and a balance between benefits and challenges. To reflect on its application to your own school, you should ask yourself practical questions such as, which activities it can be offered, when, where, and by and for whom? How do extended school days, would, complement other of out-of-school activities for children and youth? What changes are required in school staffing, educational spaces and materials, and complementary services such as school meals? Or which levels of education, groups of students, and types of schools are targeted? There are three types of associations between the curriculum and sustainability programs. Sustainability programs may be based on and support the implementation of the curriculum. The program may be developed in an independent manner but be a complement of school curricula and it adds value and even extend the curriculum. In the scope of Sustain All, an Erasmus Plus project, good examples of projects that connect all-day schooling to the curriculum were collected. To see real examples of how the extended time students spend at school can be used for sustainability projects, connecting ESD to curricular areas, don't forget to watch the inspirational and national spark videos. In sum, this module approach all-day schooling, or the extended time students spend at school. This approach largely varies from school to school, being more common in elementary schools. Its main advantage is the promotion of student success, but its implementation is a gradual process that involves fulfilling conditions, such as human and financial resources. Quality examples from an international project prove its benefits in extending the curricula. Mm-hmm.